hello friends welcome to my youtube channel uh, today i am going to discuss about submit sm uh, in depth uh, message formats uh, whatever is protocol definition uh, unit is there so whatever protocol uh, whatever messages are there uh, in submit sm i am going to discuss all the messages one by one and uh, what are the values possible values of those messages uh, so in depth discussion of submit sm uh, so friends uh, <clears throat> let's start today to today's topic uh, uh, so here i have uploaded few more videos related to uh, smpp smsc and sms i recommend you to check all these videos before starting uh, before checking this video these videos will give you uh, overall idea how smpp works how to send sms how the sms integration is there so once this is uh, complete you can check this video uh, so here uh, here just a recap uh, so uh, how the submit sm work basically esma bind to with the smsc then it sends a submit sm and this submit sm basically submits the sms to the mobile station so i am not going to discuss this in details today so you check my earlier videos this will describe all these details so let's check submit sm how <clears throat> what is the format of submit sm and uh, what are the various uh, parameters of submit sm so i am going to uh, show you example how things works here so submit sm the first uh, first is the common length then is the common id so let's see an example here so submit sm here I have captured a submit sm uh, <clears throat> submit sm message uh, so if you see a submit sm in uh, if you capture a submit sm in OSHRC it looks like this so you can uh, decode all the data whatever data you are passing the full uh, message format in OSHRC uh, you have to filter with smpp so here you can see that the first four bytes is the uh, length of the total submit sm so here it stores the length so four bytes are reserved for length so so here you can see that the common length is four bytes so first four bytes is the length then is the command id command id is the submit sm submit sm has a specific command id if you in if you put that command id in these uh, four bytes it will uh, it will recognize it as a submit sm any smpp application so here you can see that the second byte is uh Wireshark has decoded it as a submit sm because the value passed here is this so these four bytes these four bytes are reserved for uh operation submit sm command then then is the command status it is not used so it is set to null so it's four bytes so you can see that here after much submit sm i am going to sequence but in between submit and this there are four bytes are set to null zero zero so these are unused bytes so this is set to null then the sequence number then sequence number another four bytes so it's a unique number so every <laughs> submit sm has its own sequence number so while uh, while sending a submit sm a unique number is set to every submit sm so this unique number you can up to four bytes you can provide a length so these four bytes are reserved for sequence number so here you can see that the sequence number four bytes are reserved so here is uh, sequence number is set to two so you can uh, increase it up to to give a unique number you can increase it up to a four byte uh, something integer so let's uh, see the next thing it is called service type service type also set to null uh, there are some other possible values are there but by default it's set to null to by esma to uh, uh, to make the service type as default sms settings so here you can see that is a 
is set to default SMSC settings. Uh, its max uh, variable is where max uh, six six uh, byte uh, six uh, bytes. Yes. So then starts the actual uh, parameters, which is called uh, the uh, source address. So here, first uh, one byte of the source address is reserved for type of number type of number you can uh, say whether it's a national number or an international number so here it's mentioned like this zero one means international zero zero means national number so here is the number type type of number is first one byte is reserved for type of number then uh, second byte is reserved for numbering plan indicator that uh, source address and the that is numbering plan indicator so here you can see that the numbering plan indicator so every number has its own numbering format like e164 format where you put a plus with the country code that is called e164 format so this kind of country code format is there so you can mention what kind of uh, numbering plan it has so here it is mentioned like this 01 isdn numbering format then uh, then next is the source address whatever source, source address you will put you can put it here <clears throat> so max is 21 so here the next is uh, source address so here the source address is put then again for the destination number so next byte is the destination number so same destination type of number then destination type of uh, numbering plan indicator first byte is uh, type of number second byte is destination numbering plan indicator now next is uh, your destination address destination phone number where you want to send the sms so next is your destination phone number where you want to send the uh, number where you want to send the sms so next is the <clears throat> next is the esme class esme class is the message mode or message type what kind of message mode or what kind of message type it is uh, what uh, what is the what uh, message mode SMS will follow this uh, variable will set that message mode actually this uh, this I have discussed it's a big topic so I already have discussed it in another video and in my earlier video I have uploaded this I am just showing you uh, this this video I have discussed in details about uh, SMS message uh, delivery modes so you can view this video to understand what this parameter uh, can do and what are the various message modes so next is the protocol id it is network specific uh, specific field and it's not much uh, used here so that protocol id is set to zero so it's null will be set so here uh, it is not, not much uh, useful for ESME then comes the priority flag so priority flag also has different values uh, you can set immediate priority or you can uh, lower the priority of the uh, message based on that message will get delivered its highest priority then it will be fetched uh, earlier than the other messages and it will be delivered earlier so so here priority you can set with some value so this priority flag is one byte reserve one byte reserve for this priority flag so here it is set to normal so we can change the uh, priority also so uh, this these values I will be describing these values the values of every message I will be describing separately in another video so here is a, this one byte is reserved for priority value 
so you can set it normal priority or you can set it higher priority based on the hex code that you set it will be uh, set accordingly so next is the schedule delivery time so you can set the delivery time like if you want to deliver immediately you can set it immediate or you can mention the time format what time you want to deliver this sms so if you set some delivery time sms will keep it in database and when the time will occur it will uh, send this sms to the uh, ms mobile station so here is the uh, user scheduled delivery time so i will be describing it in another video showing how to set the delivery time and all this i will be describing in my next video so here you can see an example for immediate delivery what value is set so for immediate delivery it's set like this the value is set to zero uh, the value is set to one year so next is the validity period so it uh, defines how long <clears throat> the message will be there in the SMS if it is not delivered. So this validity period is mentioned here by if you set it to null It will set to the default validity period what SMS has uh, said So next is the register delivery So this this value this one byte value is uh, You can see that here uh, register delivery validity period register delivery so so you can see that it's one byte is reserved for this and here are multiple flags are defined so this one byte so this one byte is uh, like last two bits of this one byte means that the registered delivery request if you set to zero if this uh, uh, delivery report will not get asked if you set to one delivery report will get asked so uh, this one byte last two bits if you set to one it will uh, when it will get delivered to the mobile station the delivery report you will get as I have described how to get the delivery report that is deliver SM so SMS will send you a deliver SM with the same message ID which you have set here so you will get that uh, message id here and you can compare this that i have received a delivery report for this sms so if you set it to one smpp will send you a sms will send uh, the esme a delivery deliver sm message once the uh, once the sms is delivered to the mobile station so next is the message type So next, uh, next is the register delivery is done. Then next is replace if present flag. So what does this flag does is, uh, so if you set it to zero, it will not replace the message. Like you already have a message there and you are sending the same message again. And if you want to modify some text or something, you can mention if that uh, or uh, any other reason you want to uh, resubmitting it if you can ask the SMSC to replace the message if you set this bit to 1 it will replace uh, if you set it to uh, 0 it will not replace the message in SMSC so this is the meaning of this uh, flag next is the data co data coding scheme so this is very huge topic data coding scheme there are multiple data coding schemes are possible data coding scheme basically means that what kind of sms you are sending sms can be of different types like you can send a normal text you can send some mandarin language you can send some latin text so all these are various different data coding schemes are defined for this so i will be describing all these uh, data coding scheme in different uh, video because it's a huge topic so it will take a longer time so here you just 
just for understanding uh, if you set some value to this one byte so so for understanding purposes your data coding scheme says different values so if you set to some value it may uh, mean uh, mean some ucs2 so various uh, popular data coding schemes like ascii data coding schemes are there normal text data coding schemes are there then latin latin and ucs2 these are various popular data coding schemes uh, so there are many more data coding schemes are there i'll be describing all this in separate video but just for understanding purposes here i am showing you an example uh, so here i have set to data coding one So this data coding scheme is IAS and C data coding scheme. So here, uh, so it's a different kind of a data coding scheme. So here you can see that the messages are seen in different things, but actual text is this. So this depending on the data coding scheme, it shows like this. So if you want to visit, uh, visualize some uh, Mandarin language you will set it to UCS2 if you want to show some Latin something then you have to set the uh, Latin data coding scheme so based on this data coding scheme you have to set the message accordingly so there is some format that I will be describing in my next video so uh, so this data coding scheme is very important so next is the SM default message ID so uh, it's also not useful much you can set it to null then the SM length then the short message length uh, whatever message you are sending uh, that message total length you have to mention here so this one byte is reserved for mentioning the message length then is the message uh, then is the actual message actual short message so Basically, SMPP is sent up to 254 octets of short message, and if it exceeds this short message, there are multi-part messages are sent over. So, this multi-part message I will be describing in another video. That is different uh, multi-part SM, uh, multi-part submit SM. That is another different topic. So, I will be describing it in another video. So. So friends, here I have only uh, discussed about uh, mm, mandatory uh, short message, submit SM mandatory parameters. So in my next video, I will be describing uh, related to uh, uh, variable parameters, which are non-mandatory parameters. So there are multiple non-mandatory parameters are there. I will be describing those in my next video. So friends, thanks for watching. Uh, <coughs> So uh, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Here I am uploading more videos. Uh, so this is few of these SMPP related videos. Then I have uploaded few FRTC related videos as well. Then CP, then uh, CP testing tools plus various SIP tools and CC++. So if you are interested, you can view those videos as well and uh, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share and subscribe to my channel and if i will upload a new video you will get a notification if you are subscribed thanks for th thanks friends thanks for watching